ICUs the week before. And I had sensed the palpable fear and seen the rationing of PPE. But on those visits, I saw something else. I saw frontline healthcare workers from all parts of the hospital working tirelessly, fearlessly, courageously to take care of those who were sick with COVID. And it, 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 it was just, it, it was an incredibly moving experience to watch what these people were doing at a point in time where we knew so little about the virus. They were putting their life on the line every day to take care of those of us in the community. So to be standing here 10 months later, when there were vaccines, multiple vaccines, Moderna in Cambridge created one, a group of Boston doctors working collaboratively out of the Reagan Institute that funded their work are the underpinnings of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And so to be standing here today to see these 76 healthcare workers who represent all the healthcare workers across New England, who not only served us courageously, but have shown the leadership to take the vaccine, we would just encourage everybody, when it's your turn, take the shot, get vaccinated. You know, on behalf of my family and the entire New England Patriot Organization, to all the healthcare workers across New England, thank you for your bravery, your selflessness. We are eternally and infinitely grateful to you. And with that, I want to call up the heart and soul of the New England Patriots. Nine Once again, let's hear it for our frontline workers. Thank you guys so much for everything you've been through this last 12 months or so. Um, you know, when I think about the last 12 months, I know that it's been a challenging time for all of us, uh, emotionally, physically, financially. Uh, the last year has really put a strain on a lot of us. But I think during that time, as we've experienced a wide range of emotions, the best in people. Uh, we've seen people come together, we've seen people be selfless, and we've seen people serve and sacrifice. And I know for certain that without you folks, we wouldn't be standing here. Uh, you guys have thought about others first. Uh, you've put, I'm sure, fear and anxiety to the side gone in and continue to serve and I know that there's probably been stressful moments at the beginning of this uh, my wife's uh, in health care as well I've heard about people not wanting to go home not knowing if they could change inside leaving your clothes at the door uh, maybe sleeping in a hotel at times and that's a sacrifice that none of us take lightly so again I can't say it enough uh, what you people represent is the best of us. And we certainly appreciate that. And that's something that I know for me personally, I'll take with me the rest of my life, is to see the selflessness that's been on display from so many of you over the last 12 months. And it's inspiring to me. And it, it reminds me that you know, we are better uh, together. When we're working as one, when we're serving one another. So. I hope today is a day for you guys to reflect, uh, be thankful, enjoy one another, get some warm weather in, because uh, we're not getting a lot of it here, <laughs> and enjoy uh, a great day of football. So thank you again so much uh, for all you've done the past 12 months, for all you've given, and for allowing us to continue to move on and press forward. So God bless you as you continue. Thanks so much, and I'll turn it over to you guys. That's who we want to hear from the most. So on Monday, I was asked to attend a video conference, and never in a million years did I think I was going to meet with Robert Kraft and be asked to go to the Super Bowl. One of the best moments of that video was he told us we were going to be riding in the plane over here that brought all the PPE over about a year ago. Um, 
I remember watching that on the news and being so proud to call Chief Axman. Mr. Crack said that invite, he was inviting people that have been working on the front line of COVID and that have been fully vaccinated. As a nurse working on the fr front line with COVID patients, being vaccinated was important to me. I've seen what this horrible disease does to people, and I was ready to do my part to help slow this global pandemic and to hopefully bring some normalcy back to our lives. And now, because I'm vaccinated, I'm even happier to be able to be going to the Super Bowl. I just want to say thank you. I'm so honored to be representing my uh, my co-workers at Emerson Hospital and to be spending it with other healthcare workers that have been working tirelessly during this pandemic. It's an honor to be going on this trip and hopefully let's hope that the best gets a right on this plane next year at this time. Good morning. Thank you, Jonathan Crabb and family, Robert North, and everybody else. I'm so excited for this experience. What an honor to be invited with all these healthcare superheroes and represent them at the Super Bowl. I couldn't be more proud for this moment. I love being a nurse. I work at Mass General Hospital. For me, it's the best hospital in the world. I am very privileged to do my part to take care of coming patients in the sickest moments in the ICU. Um, last year was very difficult for everybody. But in December 19, I got my first vaccine, and for me, it was the light at the end of the tunnel. I care. I hope everybody cares for this get vaccinated. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. For everybody and for the Latinos, as Jennifer Lopez said, 